Well, good Wednesday evening. It's about 530, just after 530, and we've seen a lot of moisture across the region in terms of attempted showers. Some light, light precipitation coming across much of the region, even a little bit of a wintry mix north of Highway 24 for the most part. Most of this is starting to push out of here, and we're looking at drier air and drier conditions settling in for your evening here tonight, and then Thursday even looking mostly dry. This pushes out of here, and we're looking at lingering clouds through the overnight hours. That'll keep temperatures really kind of right around that low 30s, close to that freezing mark. Uh, but once we get into Thursday, we'll start to see cloud cover trying to break apart and even a little bit of a wind shift from west to east. We'll see a slow wind shift. Depending on how quickly both of those things happen, really depend on or really work to determine our temperatures. Models picking up mid 40s at best and I've brought our temperatures down. We were looking at somewhat uh, warmer conditions, but right now it looks like that cloud cover may just hang on too long and that wind shift be a little behind. We still have winds well out of the south aloft. And both, both of those things will really help to warm us into the coming days as we head into Thursday night into Friday. Thursday night we're looking clear, but once we get into Friday we'll be talking warmer conditions and chances for showers, but that all changes once we get into Friday night and Saturday. That warmth will be out ahead of our next system that will bring us a chance for snow Saturday morning through evening. Uh, and we're really watching uh, the chance for winter precip, what type of winter precip and a lot of cold air behind this system that could make not only travel a little bit uh, treacherous or tricky, I should say, on Saturday, but it could make it quite dangerous dangerous to be outside uh, once that cold air really filters on in. So let's track that out here hour by hour. Friday, again, as I mentioned, we're looking at warmth, warm temperatures, anywhere between 50s to 60s in the south, and increasing chance for showers as the evening goes on. This line up to our north, that's our freezing line. So by the time we get to about five o'clock or so that's still likely just north of Missouri, but that will sink to the south as we get closer to this system uh, as this system kind of brings in uh, cooler air uh, behind the behind all of this precipitation. But we'll likely still be looking at somewhat of a mix across the region between rain to some kind of wintry mix to maybe even snow to the north. And right now uh, it looks like the best chance, of course, for snow is going to be in our northernmost counties, especially early. Uh, but once we get throughout your Saturday, we'll likely see that freezing line dropping and dropping and we'll likely see temperatures start to kind of cool down from uh, north to south and we'll likely see cooler air back in here and that's when we'll watch for more chances for snow on the back side of this system and we're really watching timing and even placement of this system to determine just how this shakes out but generally right now as it looks we're going to likely start for most of us with a chance for rain and end with a chance for snow so we'll be tracking that as we get closer but that's what that transition will look like across time we will likely be looking at mostly a snow chance as we get late in the day Saturday as temperatures continue to drop and then we'll likely feel that uh, bitter cold behind especially when we factor in winds it'll likely feel close to zero if not well below by the time we get to Saturday night. There's that pattern for you and we're looking at really a cold day for Sunday. Temperatures really don't get out of the 20s on Sunday. We'll rebound a little bit Monday into Tuesday as temperatures warm back above average again for early next week.